Right, this is a video for anybody that's uh, wanting to change the control system on a mobility scooter, for example, and remove the stupid wigwag tiller system that, in my opinion, is dangerous and should be banned. So what I've got here, obviously, is a, a motor from a mobility scooter, a standard Chinese controller, I think it was about £14, a power meter, and a 24 volt test battery. Now the only thing you need to make that motor work is an on off switch and some sort of throttle. Now these are just what I've got lying about so it's a twist grip but on a mobility scooter I'd recommend a thumb throttle and that's so that you don't accidentally twist the power on when you're maneuvering. Right so just to illustrate that it works, power on showing battery level and then you twist the grip and the motor with very bad bearings illustrates the point that it's working. Now one other thing that I've done, you'll notice that I've changed all these power connectors for something sensible. Those are XT60 connectors by a company called Amass and they replace these stupid spade connectors that don't make good contact they get hot they spark and uh, they too should be banned so there you go simple system for controlling your mobility scooter so you can turn it into a kid's toy for example sorry i forgot to add that this system as it stands will not give you a reverse gear but there's two ways around that sometimes you can get the controller with a uh, reverse function built into it but what you can do is you can put a couple of relays in there you can build a reversing module just to switch the polarity to the motor that's a fairly simple task and I've done that and my dad's one that I modified. So it's easily done. You can have a standard controller and a reversing module made with standard relays. You don't have to replace the expensive mobility scooter controller at great expense.